Hello people, welcome back to the channel Chris GG, where today we're going to be <clears throat> playing a game. This is new. I tried recording it before. This didn't happen. We're going to get started. Can I just say something? Thank you for actually setting the clock both times you've booted up the game. A lot of people don't take that step seriously. They just leave the clock set at 12 and call it a day. Maybe I'll leave the original- Oh, I already deleted it. Never mind. I'm actually taking the time to set the clock, and I appreciate that. That's how I know you care about this experience, you're paying attention. I don't even have any way of knowing if the times you're setting are correct. Okay. Let me boot up the game and see this screen just at the clock at your favorite time. Okay, this is a weird game. I shouldn't have deleted that last one But basically nothing happened that time As you can see we're playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe uh, I never played the original but as far as I can tell I think this is just an, an add-on I can turn this down a little like it's more. It has the same stuff, but there's more to it now. I've watched a lot of people playing the original St Stanley Parable on YouTube a lot <laughs> before, and I really wanted to play it for myself. And I was waiting for this to come out. So, uh, let me check the setting. Uh, I don't have a controller. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of these. Yeah, no, that's fine. This is a. I think, uh. What's over here? Controls. WASD, good. Jump, space, interact with E. Crouch, left control. Can I change this? And. Uh, oh. Uh. Shift. No. Okay. I have no idea. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, back. Let's just get into the game. Go. Sorry, I spent so much time. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Was he, though? And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. 
But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Did I though? Yeah, you know, fine. Yeah. Oh, I have no feet. I have no body. Uh, uh escape settings. I need to turn up the mouse sensitivity a little. Back. Resume the game. Okay. A little bit better. Whoa. Stanley can move. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley Actually. waited. Hours passed. Then days. I can't get out. I can't get out. Had years gone by? No. He no, no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, ask. very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. No, let me... Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Let me ha- oh. Okay then. Will that happen again if I do that? But Stanley simply couldn't <laughs> handle the pressure. It what did. if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? Oh, he had never been trained for that. No. Sorry about this that, guys. couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do What's now, it? Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. I'm just gonna sit in this Nothing corner. will hurt me. <laughs> Nothing will break me. In up. here, I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed, then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they this would arrive. The soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Alright, sorry about that, guys. I'll actually leave the room this time. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Can't I jump? Let me... Uh... Controls. Yeah, jump is space. Resume the game. I can't jump. <laughs> you can't jump! <laughs> That's funny. Turn that off. Turn this off. Oh, there's a thing here. Awaiting input. Hmm? sure what I'm doing. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. 
Yeah, okay. Can I close this? Nah. Okay, they close automatically. Let me... No, let me in there. I need to turn that off. Okay. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Did I though? Seems like you're making all these decisions. Get Chris out of the room? Closet? Okay. I'm not just I'm Okay. Broom closet. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He <laughs> wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Yep. Next one. Come on. Are you... are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm... I'm genuinely confused. No. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have mm -hmm. thought to mention it. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. All right, I'm dead now. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. Whoa, whoa. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That or with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. I will fight you. I have a wrench. I will beat you down. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you what? collapsed on the keyboard. But I'm... Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that character. your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Okay, I think there's nothing after that. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. You too? Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. <laughs> Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. 
I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Okay, I think he's done now. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Dang it, I can't go back to the room closet. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. I'll just follow him for this time. Can I... There's... There's nothing out there. Is it just the light? No. Um... It's over here. Whoop! Executive back bathroom! I've got the feeling money's for stealing, but not yours, of course. So that's a lovely purse. What? Actually, let me see something. Presentation. Ability. Uh, video. No. Okay, never mind. I thought maybe I could put a thing on. Like, I don't know. Resume the game. <clears throat> okay, let's get it. What? Do not shoot that panda. Okay, he said the boss's office. No? Okay. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Hey, there's Trying the to input oh. anything on the device was useless, since he could oh. never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Oh, that's why. Two. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Oh, I didn't even see this. Okay. Okay, there's nothing this way. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Okay. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Next time. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? 
Oh, here's. Okay. No! No! Okay, bye. Aha! You've made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. I Welcome. didn't mean to. You see, back when the Stanley Parable first launched <laughs> in 2013, getting to the bottom of the mind control facility was a bug that we simply didn't catch during development. And you all sent us lots of photos of it on Twitter and acted very superior about it. This is an accident. And you're all very, very clever. Good for you. Anyway, when it came time to update the game, we knew that we had to do something about this little goof of ours. So here you go. New content. You can call it the bottom of the mind control room ending, if that enhances your perception of the value of these updates. Isn't that what you crave? New content? Always more content, more content, more, 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 more. And I'm here to give it to you. I'm here to make it seem like we really covered every nook and cranny of the game with secrets and Easter eggs. How about this? We wrote a new piece of music just for this section. You won't hear it anywhere else in the game. It's a secret that's just for you. That's how special you are. We call this track... Good job, you've made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. Well done. Uh. Good job, you did it. Good job. Three, two, one. Good job, you made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. You jumped on the catwalk. Should have been careful, you should have been careful. Yes, it used to be a bug, but now it's an ending, now it's an ending. And I believe in you, I believe in your ability to cross this barrier and chase your dreams. But railings don't mean anything. Good job, you did it, good job, you did it. Good job, you did it, good job, you did it. Good job, you did it, good job, you did it. Good job, you did it, good job, you did it. Good job, you did it, good job, you did it. Right. <laughs> okay. That was fun. All right. Well, that's one ending. <laughs> Not one I was trying to get to, but I wasn't actually trying to get to anything. I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and leave a like on the video. If you didn't, there's another button for that. If you want to see more from me, hit subscribe, ring the bell, be notified whenever I upload. If you have any suggestions for other games I can play, leave them in the comments down below. But until next time, hope you have a nice day. Bye.